Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop, and I just recently finally got finished with my two sewing journals, and I just absolutely love the way they turned out. Um, I have a two of them here that are kind of a little different. This one here has Artemis uh, sewing journal kit in it, and this one has uh, My Porch Prints sewing kit in it, and also... Um, some stuff from Doreen's um, Ooh La La Vintage tre Treasures, some of her kits that I've gotten from her. So um, I've kind of used a combination of stuff. So anyway, I wanted to show you a little bit. First, I made these that Doreen had uh, sent me a kit that had this really pretty um, cover, top ball folder cup cover. So uh, I decided to make it into like a little pouch for my journal and my other ephemera and stuff. Had a fun time doing it and decorating it up. So I wanted to get, let's get started and then um, we can go on the other one. Here is, by the way, they call this my red and black one. And then also this is from my porch prints, this little bitty baby, I call it a baby little journal. They're so, so adorably cute, I love them. They're fun to make. She has a bunch of these in her shop. So you need to check that out. This here just turned out wonderful. I had the best time doing it and making all kinds of really cute stuff. I did a kind of a little tutorial on how I made this ephemera here in the front. This is a circle here that I got with um, from Doreen, one of Doreen's kit, Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And I had fixed it up really pretty with um, just eyelash trim. This is just a little ephemera I had that looks like a spool. This cutouts, it says seamstress. These little um, hat pins that I recently bought from Hobby Lobby, they were on sale. And uh, you can see the little round circle that she sent me and I just kind of decorated it up and then put some pattern paper here. And just added all kinds of really pretty cute things. Um, this right here is a really pretty um, paper clip that uh, Doreen made one up that I have on the other kit so I kind of copied her on that and made it up she always has some really wonderful ideas and I love all her kits so this one here I just kind of decorated it up and I opened it up and it's like a just a little it's kind of like a trifold really so it has on over here I've added some really pretty red colors, some ephemera of some sewing notions, like a sewing machine and stuff. And here is just some little cute ephemera that I have gotten. Some have come with the kit, some of them I just had. These are the little spool tags. And you can see here where um, I've taken the actual trifo pocket here and um, have Modge Podge some really or glued some really pretty stuff down. This was a page out of um, Artemis's kit, and this actually is um, Doreen had sent a piece of fabric that had a lot of these uh, different things about sewing and stuff on it. Well, I took and just copied it and made a copy of it on some tea dyed paper, and I just love the way it turned out. I didn't really want to put the material on there, so I decided to. You know, because I wanted to, I thought, well, I'll just make some copies of that because it was so pretty. And I wanted to keep it so I can have it for other projects. So, anyway, I also decorated the back up. And that just came out of there. <laughs> I felt it fall out. This is just a little small journaling kit that I put in here. The pages and stuff. And I did some um, mixed media on this one page here. Just all kinds of really pretty stuff. I just love, love, love this kit. Did some stamping. It's just so, so pretty. I love those ladies on the front. And then um, just did a corner pocket that she came with her kit. This is a postcard that I recently purchased some of these um, from Amazon. I thought they were really pretty and kind of vintage looking. So I uh, put that in there, added some cut out stuff from some scrapbook paper. And this also came from the kit, and this is just a belly band and some of those spools uh, that come with the kit. 
I had some material here that was already gathered up and I just added that on there just to kind of add a little bit more stuff to it. And back over here, there is this right here. I, I'd added um, a black rosette, some pretty red uh, eyelash trim. And it says vintage sewing with a, a clasp here, a pin, a clothes pin, not a clothes pin, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I love that little dually there. And then these are just the dress form tags and I just took and made like a little, put them all on there and just stuck them together. I thought it turned out really pretty. So, let me get started on the book. So anyway, this book is so beautiful and I absolutely love this kit. I have made a kit for my, made a journal out of this with and gave to my mother back a few years ago. So I pulled it back out and decided to use it again. Here is an another one of those uh, paper clips that I made up. Aren't these adorably cute? I love them. They're so much fun to make. You just use a big paper clip and I love that. And these are just some really pretty postcards that I had. And so I had bought these little ladies, these it looks like somebody had taken and already made up something really pretty and made a digital out of it. And I got this from Creative Cafe Girl. Susie, I think's her name, and I had bought these from her. So I just kind of took them and made up my own little uh, collage out of them. But all the pages, um, you know, they have something different on it. Some of it's from the kit. This is actually vintage sewing paper from a Singer sewing book that I put in there. Put a lot of vintage papers in there. Love this collage right here. Isn't that so cute? I had bought a dress form cut out and a die cut and used it on there. Love this paper right here. I love the, the way people put all kinds of stuff together on a page like a collage. And this right here is kind of like a, a ledger paper. These are those little magnets. I had also recently bought these from Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, and so I used them in this project. Some more vintage sewing paper. Love these little newspapers that you can put in here. They're so vintage looking. I really tried to stick with um, using, you know, a lot of vintage um, papers that I added to it. Odds and ends. And of course, I added these really beautiful um, charms on there that are sewing notions and stuff. So here's a tag that I made up, and this is a little pocket here. Just add a little rosette and some beautiful black lace and just did some stamping on the back. Some music paper, and that's a cutout I did with some red paper there. Life is beautiful. More of that beautiful um, material that Dorian sent me. I absolutely loved it. And this one here, I haven't actually put the little, um, always on my signature that I sew in, I usually put something on there and I actually was going to put some buttons on there, but I noticed I hadn't done it yet. So I'll have to do that. But I usually always add buttons or some kind of charm on the bottom of these. So beautiful stamp that I have of a dress form. Another pocket with another pretty lace, I mean, um, tag. And here's the other side to that paper clip, I mean that paper bag and some more vintage paper there. Sewing from the Singer Sewing Book. Pretty. and this beautiful envelope that came with the kit. I just love this. So gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I love the way these all tea dyed up. It's so vintage. Absolutely pretty. I get my paper from, um, of course I can't remember. Um, it starts with the R. I'll think about it here in a minute and I'll try to remember to uh, 
say where I got it from. Vintage sewing, did some stamping there. More vintage Singer paper. And here's just some more ephemera. I love this paper right here. This is pretty, been out um, out for a while, but you can take and cut this up and, and use it in different things. So there's another side corner pocket. And then the back page here. So there's that one. And these will be for sale in my Etsy store, so if you're interested in them. This is the other one that's kind of more in the pinks and brown tones. Another one of these gorgeous little booklets. And I actually put a few things inside there. Tea bag. And this one here is just, I don't know which one I like the best. I love the red and the blacks, and I love pink and brown together, so I love both of them. But this on the front, this actually came out of Doreen's kit that she sent. So if you're interested in getting one of her kits, she usually has some at monthly, and then she also has a called Pearl and Lace um, Kit Club kind of that you get three uh, for three months. You get a kit each each month. She has a Facebook channel that you can hook up to her group, and um, if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll hook you up with. Uh, her her Facebook group so you can join I put this on the back this is actually like a little um, file folder folder and I put these real pretty different color buttons I love the color of that and then this came from my porch prints I said that a lot of the ephemera and stuff and the papers come from my porch prints all this this is something that I had and this actually opens up. I have a real code, and you can do some more stuff there if you want to. So it has like two pockets. And then you can also put the stuff in here if you wanted to, like that. Just however you want to do it. But this is actually, this trifold I made out of poster board. The exact same poster board you see right here. So I took Doreen's idea and I made my own. And I had some that were kind of getting a little stained up, so I did tea dyed them and just kind of finished up, you know, making them. And this collage is so beautiful, I love it. I just added like another one of those hat pins that's got a spool on it. This has got a little pocket on it, and you know, sewed all all this around. And this is paper dually here that's absolutely gorgeous. Came from Doreen's kit. And let me open it up here, and I've got this button. So it's really pretty buttons on there that I put on there. And these service checks that I got from, I think these came from my porch prints, if I'm not mistaken. This is some vintage um, stuff that I recently got. Uh, vintage sewing notions. I got a whole bunch of stuff off of eBay. And I love this little, these little bitty tags and stuff down here on the bottom. And I'd use one of those bulb, um, clasp there some more really cute stuff this this is more of that vintage stuff copied that and you know so I could have it to you know make more more ephemera so here is this Isn't that beautiful I just love this little booklet I made up Just lots of fun ideas, and I could go crazy. I love doing this. Let me show you also how I fix this one up right quick. I love to decorate these. This was, I got as much fun decorating this as making the journal. So I just did a, some collaging on here and just put some pattern paper and pattern stuff, and this is like a measuring tape that came with the kit. Add some lace. And just did up the, all of this up in collaging. And this actually is a picture that came from my porch prints. And this is some scrapbook paper that I had that had a sewing machine on it. So I thought that really was pretty. I really thought that turned out good. I'm going to set that over there. And I'm going to open this one up. And the front of this is got my um, graphic fairy uh on the front 
So I got this from her. I signed up to, you know, get stuff from her. So I actually got this paper here from her, this digital. And I took this brown paper, uh, brown material here and just um, made a ruffle out of it. Did some, did the vintage sewing again, the stamping, love that stamp there. And this is her patent sewing kit. Um, I don't know, I think it's patent pending. I'm not for sure exactly, but anyway, it's gorgeous. And she did a great job on it. Another one of her pretty pictures, love that picture. And all this stuff is tea dyed. A little charm there on, on the um, paper clip. This is a little index card and I just took and sewed that lady on there and put um, some ephemera at the top. Little, actually this is a little envelope that came with her kit. I made that up with some script stamps. Music paper, just more of this gorgeous paper. And this Red River is where I get this paper from. And it, I tell y'all, it's a little bit more expensive, but isn't that, isn't that pretty how she did that? Quilt, rot rotary, ruffle. She took and put that all on her paper. Love that idea. Um, this paper is a little bit more expensive from Red River, but it tea dyes up so fantastic. This is came from Doreen's kit. She made that. And this piece of paper right here, I was actually doing some sewing on, and it, I said I'm going to keep it and use it, this um, file folder, because uh, I was playing around with my sewing machine trying to get it to work better, and I said, I'm going to use that. It looks so cute. More of that beautiful My Porch Prints, and this is vintage paper, um, sewing pattern paper. Did a little belly band with the measuring tape. And this is a little tag I made up and actually got the idea from this tag right here that I didn't make this one, but this one was gifted to me. And I think um, Alicia sent it to me and I just loved it. So I kind of used her idea a little bit and made a little pocket here. And then this is really cute. I love this. Opens up. Just another pocket that's got some goodies in there, a tag from the kit. And this came from my um, Doreen's um, kit. This is, I think this is Tsunami Rose here, little card. I love her um, digitals. She does such a good job on them. I love the way these uh, tea dot up too. They were so pretty. But, like I said, this is going to be for sale in my Etsy store. And, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat's sounding kind of gravelly today. And here, this is what I'm going to do on the other one. I usually put buttons or charms, and these are some buttons that I got recently. And I thought they were so pretty. And I made this up the other day. This is something that Doreen sent me, this little ridge paper. And so I added all this to it. Sewed it on there. And then this is just some little uh, sticky notes that I stuck in here and just kind of made it like a little sticky note holder. Thought it was something different anyway. <laughs> this little pocket thing here my I think my mother gave it to me it's vintage I stuck all these stuff in here love the vintage paper I think that's tsunami rose too it's another postcard I made up with this come from my porch print and that did too just added some lilas trim and just some cute stuff with it love that. Doreen's kit again. See how I, this is what I was talking about. It's my little play, play paper there that I was playing on. I don't, you know, try to keep things because you never know you might can use them. And this is just a little pocket that I made up and did some, um, cut this out using one of those punches and just put some of them in there. So, Lots of ephemera. 
stamping. Love that picture right there, isn't that pretty? This is just such a pretty book. If I do say so myself. Okay, here is this is a little more tags that came with the kit. This is actually an, an envelope, and I just kind of stuck it down, and then I just stamped on it and kind of made it look like a something that you would be practicing on, kind of like what I did. And this actually came from Doreen's kit. This is where I got the ideas on my um, paper clips. So I added this to the back of it because she hadn't had, she didn't have anything on the back. So I added that little tag on there. This actually folds out. This is I made this from a file folder and that folds out. And then you got all this ephemera in here. And you could do some writing here too. So there's places to write in here. You know, I always try to leave room for the the um the person that is a big journaler, you know, that can journal in here. So um I try to do that, and then there's the back of it. So, I have one more thing to share. I am going to be sending this to this wonderful lady. I'm not going to say who it is. <clears throat> She's from Germany. She's a real sweetheart, and she always comments on my videos nearly all the time. And she said, when I was doing that uh, tutorial, that she loved, she loved sewing journals. And I told her a while back, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> that I was gonna make her something and send to her because she's always been so kind to me and my mom. And so this is for her and I'm gonna send this to her. I actually got this um, little journal from my porch prints. She tells you how to do everything on there. I did probably do, didn't do exactly like she did hers because I always kinda do my own thing. But these um, are not, it's kind of like one of those Madeiras or those travel notebooks where you take out the signatures. So who, so the lady that's gonna get this, she can leave them in here or she can take them out, whatever she wants to do. But I love this little, this little journal. I think it's so pretty. And I wanna send her something because she's always been so kind to me. And she's actually bought from, uh, from me before. But she comments on a lot of people's journals, and she's a great um, crafter. Uh, she does beautiful work. And I'm wondering if my mom can guess who I'm talking about. I bet she's going to be able to know. Because we, we're always talking about, you know, all of our lovely crafty friends that we have on YouTube and and how talented everybody is and she's always sending me videos to watch uh, and I we have a great time together you know crafting and stuff and I'm just glad we ha I have somebody that enjoys doing what I like to do so and then that's just a little envelope there some more tags my video is getting so long. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to. I'm trying to hurry. This is a little fold out. This is a um, weekly time record, vintage record deal that I had gotten from somebody off Etsy, and I made this little pot, uh, envelope. I did that envelope up and did a little collage up, and that actually comes out. I love tiny stuff. I made that up. That's a cute little tag there. Put some vintage singer sewing in there. I love this right here. Isn't that pretty? I just love this. I love collages. I mean, that's just my favorite thing. I think they are just, I don't know something about them. I'm sure some people don't like them because it might be too much for them, but I love putting stuff together. Uh-oh. Glue. There we go, come up, I'll go over that. Put stitch on there, and this is just an um, index card right here, and I just took those little bitty tags and stuck them on there. Another one of those beautiful pictures that I clodged up. This kind of reminds me of mixed media nearly. 
the way I put all that together. So I really like these. They're just little envelopes here that I stuck in here. I like using envelopes in my journals. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. It's a little pocket here on the side. This is actually a magazine paper that I made a copy of. My mom had given to me, and I just love it. It's so cute. Very, very vintage. And that's a flip up. Did, um, this is, I think this is French uh, and English dictionary that I recently bought at a resale shop. Another little pocket. And then another collage I made up. And this is actually an envelope. And we'll, I think that comes out too. And this comes out. And then that's the end. Okay. Now I'm also sending her this. This is the cutest little thing. This tin I right hear I got at Hobby Lobby. And when I was on my vacation back in March and April, I uh, did some craft with me on the go, and I made this little journal up. And I knew I was gonna send it to somebody, but now I know who's gonna get it. So it goes like that, isn't that pretty? So just a little old journal that I created myself. Just put all kinds of little cute things in there. I just thought it was adorable because I think this is my thought was this is be like what somebody from a long time ago would do because you know they didn't have all the stuff like we do now so anyway that is my journals and I hope y'all enjoy the video thank y'all so much for watching I appreciate your lovely comments and thank you so much for watching my channel my videos my um being subscribed to my channel so um, make sure that you ring the bell and you do subscribe and thank y'all again. Y'all have a blessed day.